When it comes to unwelcome guests at the dinner table, few are as unpleasant as work. Bringing home work with you doesn't just affect you, but rather your entire family. Your children won't have the full attention of their mom or dad, and you'll be far more likely to make silly mistakes or to stomp around the house in a bad mood. The irony? When you don't know how to switch off from work, it actually makes you less productive in the long run. That's because the brain needs a balance between go time and rest time. This is due to the way our nervous system operates. If you are constantly on, then this will eventually mean that you are running half-mast. In this presentation, we'll discover how to completely switch off from work so that you can enjoy time doing things other than work. The Golden Rule – No Checking If you do that, though, then you'll find yourself forever popping back to the computer to tweak things and make notes. Be strict with yourself. Once you switch off, it stays off until the next day. Turn off your work phone and don't check your email. Nope, not even once. One is the first number in a sequence. You need to switch off to switch off, unless you're happy to work into the evening and like to multitask. More to the point, while it might only take you a second or two to look at your phone, the emotional impact of that email can linger for much longer. If you learn something stressful you're going to need to deal with the next day, it can be hard to focus on your work until then. There's another reason that you need to be strict with the not even one rule too. That's because it takes practice. In order to truly switch off from work, you need to learn to not think about it until the next day. This isn't easy to do. The only way to get better at it is to practice. If you don't let yourself go a single evening without checking your email, then you will never get better. Use external tools. The goal is to try not to worry about things, and though that's easier said than done, making a to-do list and some notes at the end of the day can help you relax. It's easy to let go, knowing it'll be there to remind you in the morning. You can think about this like an external storage for things that are on your mind, like locking them away in a huge trunk and not looking at them until later. In fact, you can even use a fancy term for this. Exocortex. Meditate. Another tip is to try meditation. This is a powerful exercise that involves focusing the mind or clearing it of distracting thoughts. Both these processes actually teach you to become better at emptying your mind and focusing on the things that you want to focus on. Meditation provides you with the powerful skill that will give you the laser precision you need in order to switch from one task to another to completely relaxing and emptying the mind. You'll become an entrepreneurial ninja, and this is ultimately what you need to become if you're going to maximize your effectiveness at work. Distract yourself. Finally, try to fill your evenings with interesting things to do that will distract you from the work that you've just done. Sitting in front of the television watching junk shows is neither recharging the brain it actually puts us in an aroused fight-or-flight state, nor partially engaging or beneficial.